window. This is my gym room. The best skylight that I'm never, ever, ever gonna probably have in my entire life again. My bedroom. My bedroom was so iconic. The biggest bedroom I've ever fucking had. This shit is jumbo. It feels so weird leaving because I feel like I just got here. My balcon. This was my little view. Super cute. Ah, my closet. Last but not least, my bathroom. Okay guys, this is it. RIP this spot. Hey guys, we're leaving the spa and as you can see my car is fully loaded. You literally can't even see out the window. Probably not the safest. It took us how many, <laughs> it took us how many hours of packing. It felt like fun. There are a few things that I left behind that I'm probably going to come back for because they didn't fit. What do you got to say? It's going to be a long drive. I'm glad I'm sitting down now. Yeah. Yeah, we're both really tired. This is my building. Look at how cute she was. here and talk to you guys about what I look for in a spot what I was looking for exactly and I don't know just go into detail a little bit because this shit is so chaotic I didn't record every single spot that I visited because I thought that was too much also some spots I visited super last minute I also didn't even know where half of my shit was half the time because I was moving but one thing that I always look for is good lighting high ceilings space and White walls is like high up there on my list, but I know that nowadays when people remodel their apartments, for some reason they go for this ugly gray color. As soon as I walked into the spot, I quickly noticed that the ceilings were really low and that it was really dark. I did not like that there was very minimal windows. And also one thing I really didn't like about this spot was that the setup was kind of weird. There wasn't like square rooms. It was like kind of like a, hexagon type situation and I just didn't like it I also didn't like the closet space one thing I did notice about a lot of the apartments that I did visit is that a lot of them have carpet every room for the most part it was really hard to find a spot with no carpet it was really unfortunate that I did have to compromise in regards to that because every single spot I visited had carpet so this first apartment was just really dark kind of not really happy very sterile sterile is the word this apartment was really sterile and i did not like it i also did not like just the shape of the bedrooms it just was not ideal for setting up furniture and i have a lot of furniture so i obviously did not go with apartment number one it just was not up to par for what i was looking for it was cute but just not cute for my third ever apartment Okay, so this second one I recorded was really cool because in the photos, the environment and the community and all the finishes looked cool, but then I visited it, I visited it and it was just a whole lot of false advertisement. And that's another thing, when you visit spots, it's just so much false advertisement. And um, this spot, they this was the model spot they had and it did look cute, but one thing that I did notice is that they made this one extra special with like some different finishes just to make it look good but all of the other spots that they actually had available for their tenants did not look like this whatsoever um i also didn't like the low ceilings i didn't like that it was just kind of outdated and if i'm gonna be paying a high amount in rent like i would like either to have a lot of, a lot of space or 
good finishes, good amenities or whatever the fuck those things are called. And this just was not the vibes. It had some space, it had a little like backyard, side yard type of thing, but it just was not my vibe. It did not have AC, which was inconvenient. And the setup reminded me of my LA condo, but it just was like a tiny ass version of it. And it just was not it. It was not it. Because of my situation and because I decided to move so last minute, after leaving my LA condo, I didn't have a spot for a few weeks, which I kind of expected. So I was kind of in a rush to find a spot, but I also really wanted to make sure that I got a spot I liked. A lot of places are just cap. False advertisement, I hate it, it's so annoying. I also visited this like waterfront spot. And the management, the guy that showed me around was really weird and really unprofessional. So it just immediately turned me off. Like I didn't even go inside the spot. Moving into the last spot is the apartment that I chose. So here's the door. And then you turn this way and this is the first bathroom. Just a standard one bath. Instantly, as soon as I walked in, I noticed there was high ceilings. It was nice and bright. It was a corner unit. So I only have one neighbor. I instantly really, really like this spot. What really sold me was the kitchen and the finishes. This is kind of more of a luxury apartment, which is something I'm not used to having because I always like getting spots with a little bit more space. And one thing about luxury apartments is that a lot of them don't have high square footage. My LA condo was 1,700 square feet. This one was, I think, a thousand something square feet. I downsize by a little bit, which was really annoying because I didn't realize how much it was really going to challenge me throughout this move. But I am very happy with this spot that I ended up choosing because it's nice and bright. Even though I didn't get white walls, the lighting is impeccable. The closets are really big. There's two bathrooms, which is really nice. A little fireplace, which is something I've never had before. And what else? One thing I did hate was wall color and carpet in the bedrooms. But again, it was so hard to find apartments without those two. And another thing that was really unfortunate was that my living room is a little bit smaller than my last living room, which was honestly expected because I expected to downgrade in regards to square footage. So it did make things a little bit difficult with furnishing, but I'm still trying to work through it and figure it out. This bathroom, this bathroom is huge. This bathroom is so big. I don't think I've ever had a bathroom this big, but the countertops are really nice. Doors are really nice closet it's kind of crazy because i was not expecting to have two big closets so you walk in um on this side you have two little racks slash shelves then you have one really really big rack that's the spot i ended up choosing let's move on to the rest of the video and decorating and furnishing unboxing buying stuff organizing, etc. Bedroom, 
which is kind of insane. It's just kind of a full circle moment, like when your bathroom is the size of your bedroom. And my bedroom was not that big, but it also was not that small. I have been so healthy recently. I'm so proud. This is my little fit. I've been sleeping in a bonnet for the past few weeks, maybe almost a few months now, and it really has helped me so much um, not fuck up my hair while I sleep because I think one of my issues is that I sleep fucking crazy and the back of my head would always get tangled and then it would just cause a lot of breakage. So I got a bonnet and it definitely helped out. Hey guys, so this is what my closet room is currently looking like. It is a complete mess. I actually have a way bigger closet than what I did in Los Angeles. I'm lucky that I can fit everything and then some in here. And I could also even fit my vanity in here. So, um, and this is where I want to have my makeup. I have a really cute window in my closet as well. So there's really nice lighting in here. And then I also have shelving and I might add more shelving there and potentially more shelving up here or maybe even art up here. Definitely be keeping you guys updated on how I organize this closet and all of that stuff and how I end up organizing my whole house in an upcoming vlog. Also we'll have my office room which will be a whole nother thing. So definitely stay tuned because there's so much to do in this new spot and I'm so excited to show you guys. My little community has a dog park but people don't really use it so Tofu comes here pretty regularly to lease some energy and some poops. find some flowers for my balcony something new I want to do a few things I did not get everything that was on my list I did take care of most of the Home Depot stuff that I want to go look at I didn't buy some stuff that I wanted to buy but it's all good one man show I can't do it all I'd be like that sometimes and it's hot and I'm hungry I'm carrying a whole ass rug up my stairs. I'm so fucking tired. Look at how dirty my hands are, bro. Guys, I'm kind of in shock because I ordered my rugs literally two days ago and they got here today. Talk about quick ass shipping. It was supposed to be a rest day. Like, so much for resting. I'm fucking sweating. Where the fuck did I get these from? I don't even remember. Anyways, but I'm actually so happy with this rug. I was a little concerned about it at first because I was like, I don't know if this texture is going to look good, but from a distance, it looks really, really good. This is exactly what I was looking for. And cute. Oh my gosh. Great decision. It kind of looks a little bit awkward. I don't know what to do. I think it's too fucking small, but I really hope it's not. But I feel like it is. No! Oh my god, I'm so sad. This is all kind of temporary at the moment because I don't really know what I'm doing with the living room at the moment. I'm gonna get rid of this couch still. Um, I might downsize in coffee table. I'm not really sure yet, but I kind of love a really big coffee table. I love how this one is super blocky. Um, but yeah, that chair is gonna go fireplace. Trying to vlog and trying to film TikToks 
at the same time is a little hard because I like to film my TikToks on my camera. Yes, I can see the game. I've been really liking having aqua collagen protein hydration from the HP Labs. It has for two scoops, it's 20 grams of protein. The best way you can describe it is like protein juice. It's really, really good, 10 out of 10 recommend. If you want a discount, you can use my code for the 10 at checkout. from a thrift store a while back and I love it. Go potty. Step after your dogs. No seas huevona. Looks so cute in your in your sun hat. So many cool clouds. The clouds look amazing. I got a package. I've been wanting how more house shoes. Especially because winter's coming, I was like, oh my god, I need to get more pantumplas. These Ugg pantumplas, so cute, oh my gosh. Sorry for the vlog delay. Just wearing some concealer brows. I did a little bit more than the usual. I usually only do, I usually never do eyeliner or mascara. I'm wearing a vintage Arsenal jacket. We came to this cute little antique thrift store. I mean, it's not really a thrift store. It's more of an antique furniture store. We came here about two and a half weeks ago and I saw a few pieces I really liked, but I need to look at them again to see the vibes, see if they're gonna fit, see, like just really look at them and think about them in my space. It's called Jankos & Co. Mid-Century Modern Gallery, period. Okay guys, this is her. This is what I came to look at. So I really like it. This is probably supposed to be like a bar section, but I'd probably use this as a desk. Toph, Toph, do you like it? Do you like it, Tophy? Oh my God, you're so tan, dude. What? Shout out to Ariane Marie. Okay, Scooch, do you see? Do you guys happen to do delivery by any chance? So this right here closes and it locks. Um, he's gonna bring the key right now to see if we can see how that works. But um, this is gonna be a really nice like pull out desk situation to close and shit. So, you know, this is all just storage. But it's actually in really good condition for like how old it is, 1970s. And I love the dark glass. I saw a lamp here last time we were here and it's gone. Oh shit, I'm hella zoomed up. And now it's gone. RIP. Oh, let's go in that art gallery. And then we can go. This has to be fake. This tree. This tree's so cute. <gasps> it's not fake. It's real. That's crazy. Um, a big reason why I love to buy secondhand furniture, Q 
curate my spot slowly rather than just all at once buying stuff at ikea or you know whatever other store you buy furniture at. i mean i don't fucking know it's because investing money in furniture is a lot like you it's really expensive to buy furniture whether it's cheaper furniture or not it adds up and it's a lot and i would much rather invest my money into something that will hold its value that i could eventually resell or just invest my money into something that is way more unique that you probably won't see often um and just really curate my home and make my home personalized to me so that is why I love to buy secondhand furniture and why I have been curating my furniture over the last two years. Don't be wrong, from time to time I will kind of buy things from regular online stores, like for example my rugs, but typically with bigger pieces of furniture I would much rather buy a piece that will hold its value. So yeah, I'm so excited for, to get it in. I don't know when it's gonna get here, but I'm hyped. I'm currently finishing up making my bagel. This on toast or bagels or avocado toast, anything is so good. I got this at Trader Joe's. I need to take care of this whole room because this is supposed to be my office room and office closet room type thing. And right now it is not giving that. lip liner like this i also normally don't conceal under my brows but i felt like doing it today this is my fit skirt is actually not a skirt it's a top it actually goes like this or summertime appropriate YouTube channel? Yeah, vlog I made, I made four YouTube videos. I did four in a month, and now I'm like, all right. <laughs> it's a lot. It's it a is. Because as soon as you stop one, then you'll stop for a couple weeks. Yeah. You know, and then all of a sudden, a couple weeks turn into a few months, and you're like, all right. Should I give up? Or should I just keep chasing? But I would never do it wrong. One, I need to pee. Two, up on Mount Tam and came to see the sunset and the fog and it is so insane. I think I've been on Mount Tam a few times before but I don't think I've ever been up this high like on the tippy top where I see the fog and it's just, it's just crazy. Um, but I'll show you guys in a sec. Oh my god, it's moving. Feels like we're above the clouds. Dude, terrible.
Buenos dias. Buenos dias, buenos dias. This looks so fucking washed out. It is really early in the morning and Bivy and I are now planning friend dates. Finding new things to do, new hobbies that we both enjoy to do together. One of those hobbies is thrifting specifically for like home decor. I guess just anything, not just home decor. But we like to go thrifting like once every two weeks we dedicate a full day to thrifting at least half a day to thrifting we'll go thrifting either in the morning or in the afternoons but mornings are preferred for us because it's easier it's not as hot she's coming i didn't tell her i was vlogging so hopefully she's okay with me vlogging the, um, the mirrors and stuff like that? yeah I'm getting this acrylic magazine holder. I found this cute little magazine rack that I'm gonna buy. We have so many cute little knickknacks, cups, vintage things. Y'all already know this is my vibe. But look at this. Like I know people are probably gonna think, bitch, that ain't shit, but this is so fucking cute. All of this shit. I guess if you get it, you get it, and if you don't, then you don't. Look at this Herman Miller chair, bro. I want to sit on it so bad, but I can't. Okay guys, update. We're at the church and Monica's taking photos. These are all her chambelanes. Cute. You guys all look so good. Uh, Anthony Flores, por favor, ese aplauso que se escuche. Oriel Reyes. Juan Farías. Juan Damián Guerrero. Juan Reyes. Por favor, ese aplauso que se escuche para los chamelanes. Muy fuerte para, por favor, para la quinceañera. Mónica Guerrero. I think this should be good. Oh my god. Long time no see. It's your girl. This is kind of a crazy little life reset because I did not think I was gonna move this soon, to be honest. I was like, oh no, I'm not gonna move for like another year. And here I am in a whole new spot. As you can see, I'm still not even fully moved in yet. I was procrastinating on uploading this vlog because I was like, I'm gonna upload this vlog once I'm hella moved in and my shit's all organized. Psych. Things a mess. I'm still trying to get my whole life put back together, get into a routine and all of that stuff. This is such a random little vlog though. This is really quick. I want to quickly talk about healing healing past trauma and um just opening up a little bit because i feel like 
a long time ago I would open up a little bit more and I don't as often anymore. I do want to talk about why I was comfortable with this move, why this move happened so quick. When I left my hometown, that was about three years ago now, and I decided to randomly move to LA, found a spot, didn't even see it before I moved in, and I just moved right into my first spot. And then I moved to my second spot, which is the spot that I had been in for two years, and my experience in LA had been nothing but fun. I loved living in LA. I'm not gonna be one of those type of people that move there or leave and then they like talk shit about LA because I did not have any bad experiences there whatsoever. I think it's just like who you surround yourself with, what you do when you're there. I think a lot of people that move to LA are the ones that feel so fucking entitled. And, but the people that are from LA are not like that at all. Like the people that are from LA are super nice, kind, community based. Like it's such a good environment, especially as a Latina. I feel like everyone there is so involved in their, in their culture and it's so refreshing to see. Anyways, out of my hometown about three years ago, I left kind of with a heavy heart and I really had so many bad memories attached to my hometown to the point where I didn't even want to visit my hometown. Like, going back made me feel sad for no reason. Like, I have no fucking reason to be sad. Every time I went to my hometown, I always looked forward to going back to LA. And that's how I knew I wasn't ready to come back. That's how I knew that I was like, nope, not for me, not gonna be me for a minute. But I always had the intention of coming back because this is where I want to purchase a home. Up until a year and a half into living in LA, I kind of started being like, you know what? Like, I need to really heal myself and I need to focus on myself. I need to focus on loving myself, healing from my past traumas, and just really accepting life for what it is now and just moving past that because I felt like I kept holding on to all of these negative things that happened to me. For a while, I just focused on healing all of the negativity that I was holding and just really accepting life for for what it is now and taking each day, day by day. I'm fucking tired of being like, fucking poor me. I just fucking got tired of being that person. I never want to go back there because I went through that or I don't want to do that because I went through this. Like moving to LA and just being outside of my hometown, being by myself really helped me focus on myself, focus on my fitness, my health, and I didn't try to suppress anything. I do feel like I am in a space where I am no longer reacting based off of my past. I've just kind of accepted what I've gone through and um, kind of dealt with that myself rather than projecting. And now I'm in this space where like, I no longer react based off of past traumas or past negative things that happened to me. I'm in the fucking present, like the future holds so much newness. Why am I going to continue to bring my past in, into the current life that I'm living if that is no longer me, that is no longer an experience that is present? Yeah, I'm just so much happier. I'm so much more fulfilled. I'm so much more i um, excited to create. This year, I finally kind of became open to coming back to my hometown. So I'm not back in my hometown, but I am like closer to the area. I didn't really want to be like in, in my hometown because I still want to have like my personal space um, and be a little bit further. I have like a new environment because even though I am kind of back in the same area, I'm like in an environment that I'm not really used to. I'm still kind of learning that town, that city, whatever the fuck. I'm so excited for all of the fucking content that's gonna come. And now I'm able to see my parents more often, my sister more often, which is so fucking cool. I can't wait to go to her fucking basketball games, bro. One of my friends is just on her second baby, which is so great. I'm excited to see my friend Bibby all the time now. I'm happy to kind of see where this goes. I'm good. I'm fucking good, bitch fucking good and and now i'm also more appreciative of what's around me because i feel like in la like i really enjoyed the city life i really enjoyed all of that but now coming back here i'm like ooh, nature trees fucking mountains hikes and it's not fucking populated let's fucking go with all that being said i am still gonna be in la because i do still have some business there i have a lot of appointments there i have a lot of shit going down there because i moved so randomly I didn't really plan in advance to not do things over there. So 
I'm gonna be there quite a few times within these next few months. But with that being said, new space, new environment, who's this? I'm so excited to decorate. And I'm not used to this lifestyle. Not gonna cap. I got amenities now or whatever the fuck those shits call are called. And it's kind of lit, not gonna lie. But yeah, let me know what type of moving shit you guys wanna see because even though I did already start unboxing boxes and stuff, I still have a lot to do and a lot to organize and I don't know if you guys would like to see that or if you guys just want me to kickstart my content my content per usual or just sprinkle a little bit of moving shit here and there organizing stuff here and there stuff I've been buying in here and there crazy shit dude crazy shit also I want to buy new furniture and stuff so I'll keep you guys updated so excited to be uploading more vlogs thank you so much for coming back and watching this video thank you so much for coming back to my channel if you're a new subscriber welcome let's just fucking kickstart the vlogs again bro because i'm just so ready because this move has been chaotic and i'm ready to be in a cute routine